When you look down at the magnificent island of Kauai, and all of its towering mountains lined with lush forests, you likely assume it must be crawling with reptiles and amphibians. However, aside from a few invasive anoles, this lost world is completely void of your typical herpetological specimens. Kauai, or the Garden Island, as it has long been nicknamed, is considered the fourth largest island in the Hawaiian chain, and like all of its counterparts, is completely surrounded by the warm waters of the Northern Pacific Ocean. And the moment you leave the shoreline behind and dive beneath the crashing blue waves, you stand a really good chance of encountering one of the ocean's most iconic reptiles, the green sea turtle. How about those turtles? Whew, I think it might not be a bad idea to come back here and do a sea turtle adventure. Mm, I like that one. In order to properly admire sea turtles in the wild, you need to either snorkel, where you can drop beneath the surface and watch them from a safe distance for a few seconds, or you can scuba dive and spend nearly an hour visiting in their watery realm. Well guys, it has been an epic trip to Hawaii and so far our diving experiences have been A+. We've seen all sorts of incredible marine creatures, but the thing that's really caught my interest has been all of the sea turtles. Now there is no way that I'm going home without getting a proper turtle episode. So if you guys are ready, let's take the cameras beneath the surface and get up close with these marine reptiles. Today we will be joined by technical dive specialists, Mike Hanna, and Brian O'Hara. Considered by most to be Kauai's best dive team, their expertise beneath the surface will help keep us safe, and their knowledge of the area's wildlife will assist in finding these large ocean reptiles. When people ask me what it's like to pull on my dive mask and sink below the waves, I once said it was a feeling of complete terror. However, with the passing of each accomplished dive, I became more and more comfortable. And when it came to searching for sea turtles, I couldn't get underwater fast enough. Despite being in danger, the green sea turtle is considered one of the most common sea turtle species, with a worldwide range that spans most of the tropical and subtropical oceans of the world. When it comes to population density in the waters of the United States, the Hawaiian Islands are without question the place to see these majestic reptilian creatures. So as we began to explore along the rocky underwater outcrops, it was only a matter of minutes before we came across our first sea dragon. In their adult stage, green sea turtles are mainly herbivores and they spend a majority of their time forging along rocky shelves where they feast upon a variety of seagrasses and algae. Their serrated beaks work like pruning shears as they drift on the undercurrents and feast away. Males grow larger than the females, and one of the most distinct differences between the two is that the males, similar to snapping turtles, have much longer and more robust tails. Wow, got some amazing behaviors there. Giant male saw the male and the female right next to each other and the males over here in the rocks feeding right now What was great is that I was able to get a shot of them right next to each other So you can see the distinct difference in the tail size Like I said the males have a much larger tail than the female so that was really cool to see I'm gonna kind of hang out in this area and see if he moves back out. Oh, there he is. You see him? Yep He's in the same spot. Same spot. Let's yeah. go. Okay, cool. I'm going down with a camera in my hand I used the power of my dive fins to fight the current. I was determined to get some epic shots. Interacting with sea turtles is far different than any other turtle species I have worked with in the past. You certainly are not allowed to catch or even touch these majestic reptiles, as strict regulations require you to keep a respectful distance. 
So to make this episode work, we simply had to admire the animals as they naturally interacted with their environment. Wow, this is awesome. So we have a female green sea turtle that's just hiding underneath a rock right now. Actually down there resting. Now they can stay underwater for a considerable amount of time, close to 30 minutes when they aren't moving around. So we're just gonna kind of stay in this area, keep an eye on her. And when she gets ready to come for a breath of air, we're gonna try to get her coming to the surface. As I sank back beneath the rolling waves, my dive fins propelled me forward. I maneuvered past a reef up and over some large rocks, and suddenly, before my very eyes, I found myself in the city of sea turtles. Trust me when I say that seeing a single sea turtle can steal your heart. So being in the presence of many sea turtles at once is absolutely breathtaking. They were peaceful, sentient beings, and their calm demeanor reminded me of the time I swam with manatees. Here I was again, a bipedal stranger once more in a foreign watery land. And I was being accepted into their world with completely open arms, or in this case, flippers. I was literally surrounded by these giant ocean dragons as they seemed to effortlessly glide on the underwater currents. As a human, it took every ounce of my strength to keep balanced in the turbulent water, as my body was constantly being tossed and turned, pummeled and dragged over the jagged rocks. Yet I was determined to get the shots. Keep the turtles in the frame is all I kept telling myself as they danced around me, looking back with curious eyes and a kindness that I had never before seen in a reptile. For nearly 30 minutes, I rode the currents, witness to a complete turtle feeding frenzy. Being no more than a few feet from the surface, I was in no danger of drowning. However, my dive tank was running low on its precious life providing air so I decided to call it a day. I knew that despite the washing machine-like setting, I had some amazing footage and an animal encounter that could never be replaced. As we kicked towards shore and our designated exit point, we left behind a world unlike anything I had ever been witness to, a society of reptiles that was thriving in a watery paradise. Talk about swimming in Turtle City. Unbelievable. Absolutely one of the coolest things I've ever done. It takes me back to the days that we filmed with the manatees. At one point, we were surrounded by green sea turtles. And they like accepted us. Yeah. They were swimming right alongside us. Like you would try to swim away and then they would stick with you. The waves were just throwing us around. And what was so cool is watching the way that the turtles reacted to all the swells that were coming in. Right. It just took a couple seconds. I was like, all right, you don't fight the current. Just let your body go with it. Your leg is definitely bleeding. I got a little uh, little nick from the coral reef there. Yeah, Ooh. my my legs are That's, definitely Sometimes that happens, out. guys. No pain, no gain, right? You get the shot, sometimes you gotta shed a little blood, you know? Tell me what it's like. like. I know diving has been something that you've been excited about, but didn't really know what to expect. It's a whole different world out there beneath the ocean waves. And at first when we started, I was nervous. But today, after getting up close with the sea turtles and really getting accustomed to being beneath the surface, I felt so much more comfortable. And I feel like there are many dive episodes to come. What was really interesting is that right now it's about 4.30 in the afternoon. And the same thing that I noticed with snapping turtles, all of a sudden they emerge from nowhere and begin to feed. Now with snapping turtles, they're hunting. 
the sea turtles are simply grazing on all the algae that is growing on the rocks. So as we slowly approached, we kept our distance, but after a while, the turtles just accepted us into the group. They were moving around us. It was just like we were there at the dinner table with the sea turtles. It was so incredible, riding the drifts of the waves as they came in and out. And it was dangerous, and we did get caught up, but we got the shots. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Coyote, you got any band-aids? I got you one. My first trip to the island of Kauai will always hold a special place in my heart. And if you ever get the chance to visit, there are several things I can most certainly promise. The first is that you will never forget the beautiful landscapes. The second is the brilliant elegance of the blue Pacific Ocean waves and the way they crash upon the shore. And the third is that if you ever leave that shore behind, and you find yourself beneath the surface in the presence of its reptilian inhabitants, there will be no words that will ever truly describe what it feels like to dance with dragons. If you thought getting up close with sea turtles was an incredible animal encounter, make sure to go back and watch the episode where we kayaked along the ocean's top predator, the killer whale. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on our next big adventure. Whoa! Wow! That's a huge male, did you see that? Yeah.